said that more people from the commercial units could not attend. But those who did attend thought the seminar was very positive and that solutions would be found. A follow-up group will meet again next week. And what is this I hear about your journal, Jan? Shh. Je ne pense pas qu'il soit nécessaire d'en parler davantage. I like the Orville Review much better. Hey, we're going to build the city with pies. Let's go talk to Roger and we'll tell him how to build the city. Make it out of pie, Roger. Lots of chocolate ones and banana ones and vanilla ones and we're going to make some pies. Yay. Yay. You want to eat some pie? We are in the crash, in transition, and uh, bonjour, Jaya. Bonjour. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, how many crashes there are in all this? There are two. There is a new creation, there is a crash, a little crash, there is in transformation, and then there is Eva's crash also. Who is in charge of this crash? Uh, myself, uh, and then there is Marie-Angel, Angela, Anneke, Kanta, and Jaya Gandhi will be coming back. Most are mother, no? Yeah, most are mothers, but uh, we prefer a situation where it's, it's not the mothers that they are here, because when you are you have your own child, they usually cling to you a lot. Huh? And the financial aspect, aspect? We are under Sayer, so we get our maintenance from there, which covers Dama and, and the, um, the materials and things we need. And you have some projects? Yeah, there is, we want to have a new crash building. No, right now we have a difficult situation because it is one or one and a half years since the new crash is there. And meanwhile, we have 14 children, which is actually two more than our space can hold. So we are as extended as we can be. But we have another four or five children coming during the year which is to come. So one way or the other, either way, we have to extend our space for just temporary or we have to say no to the children. This is something which we don't want to do. We want them to come. Une nouvelle importante? Well, um, I have a feeling where but I got such a bad toothache, you know. I really would like to just go see Jacques if I can. I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> So, welcome to my uh, mechanical workshop. It's supposed to be a dental clinic. La dentisterie moderne. Francis, yeah, open your mouth. Ah, ah, on beau custom, ah, ah, on beau custom. Ah, ah. If we have to do extraction, what do you like? What do you like? Ah, uh, cheap or expensive? What do you like? Oh, State. doctor, it's cheap as possible, please. Cheap as possible. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no problem. Ah. Okay. Merci. Ah. Ah. Les conditions sont, disons, humoristiques. Je prends ça d'une façon humoristique, c'est le cas de le dire, et les Orbéliens aussi. D'ailleurs, je suis très surpris que tout le monde le prend euh, d'une façon aussi légère. Mais bon, c'est un job qui ne peut pas durer comme ça éternellement, c'est absolument insupportable. Due to the Tamil Nadu electrical board's inconsistency, we've been forced to leave the studio. There has been a major surge of electricity into the Bharat Nevis video area, totally destroying the viewing area of the uh, video room. And um, here we are outside. There is no electricity for a while. Um, fun, huh? <laughs> Nature, beautiful. Oroville has a new community. It's called Samasti, meaning collectivity. It used to be the residential zone, or it is in the residential zone, and we have two very large houses already being constructed there. But best of all, Samasti has its own road. 
land has been acquired. This will mean a reduction of traffic and certitude. Yay! Nous avons entendu dire qu'il y a eu imitation de newsreel. Pour votre plaisir, réclamez l'original à la viewing room quand l'électricité marchera. Good evening, Yann. Good evening, Charles. Hello. Oh. Good evening, Orville. This week, we've realized that Orville has had very many bad accidents. So, we decided to buy a traffic signal book. And we'd like to present you with some excerpts of it to really find out how much you know, you Orvillians, about Indian traffic signals. Now, let's get for some live footage with the illegal traveling in Orville. Jan, shall we go? What, Francis? What's the problem, Francis? We want to know if you know about writing. Well, I just tried it two days ago. Oh, I know how to ride, Francis. Come here with yeah, me, you? my side. Listen, do you have a license? Um, no. Oh, I'm getting one, Francis. How old are you, Muniandi? Fifteen. Fifteen. And Julio? I'm forty-five. Do you know anything about riding rules? Um, no. Not really. Do you hear that, Orville? They yes. don't know what? about writing rules. That's a bad rules. example. They do not know about yes. writing rules. Tell us. Just Look. It, money. What is section 85? Hump. I did it! Wait, wait, wait children. Wait. Do you see this? No seat. Right. Section 85 stresses. What a disgrace. If there is no pillion seat in a motorcycle, no person should be allowed to travel. Do you see these children? And Irresponsible, that is the word. Very yeah, good example. Tell us. Tell us, wait, children. Don't you know, with an increase in the number of vehicles flying on the road today, it is imperative that each person should familiarize himself with the many dangers of, that occur on the road. You know that, I don't know vehicles fly, Francis. It is our ambition to explain this book that you have to learn all these arts and do well in life. It is, Francis? I suggest you take this book with your children. Thanks, And wait till you get a proper license before you drive such a big motorcycle. Okay. Now, children. Goodbye. Orville, sometimes it's a disgrace. We. Look at the way Jan is dressed. Disgrace. Look at me. Ha! It is imperative that you have good threads. But all the time. Now. Here we are on the road again. And we'd like to inform you that this week, five Oravians had motorcycle or moped accidents. So there we would like to remind you to drive courteously, carefully, but most of all, slowly. Thank you. Good moment. Le général en chef de l'état-major de l'armée indienne, le jeune frère de Kamala Tivari, était à Auroville cette semaine. Nous l'avons rencontré à Oroelec, le général Vishwanath Sharma, ce qui veut dire le maître du monde, et nous lui avons posé une question. Mère a rêvé d'une société sans police et sans armée. Qu'en pensez-vous I think that's a very good dream. So being in the army, I think I'll be out of a job, but that's not tough. If you can have a system like that, but as far as human beings are concerned, I think there's a long way to go before we reach that stage. Maybe in Auroville, but other places, no. L'équipe de Newsreel a visité la nursery de Shakti pour vous. Walter and Tina started Shakti in 1983 with the help of a grant from the Belgian government. Today, Shakti encompasses a large nursery and an international seed exchange. Most of the exchange we now is going on with Moscow. They are our, our biggest customer. I think they use it around the Black Sea somewhere. So we list all the seeds on cards. Mm -hmm. See here in this box and take one. 
So you, you take this one for instance. So that's the Guazuma tomato that he's taking now. It's a very small seed. Et cette petite chose, c'est vraiment un arbre. Yes, it's a tree. I can show it. it's growing in the nursery. It's flowering now, just now. It's a huge tree, in fact. So this is the tree with the flowers from the seeds which uh, Walter showed you. It's only one year old. It was tiny like this when we planted it. So it's fast growing and evergreen. The first beginning was you have afforestation, you have to do something. Then there was the need to become self-sufficient. No one in our field, I think we have to become self-sufficient. That's why I thought, well, there was a possibility to do this work, the work which I like really very much. So then we took up this nursery. Now slowly it starts, uh, people come and buy plants. We sell to some uh, hotel, we sold a lot of plants, and then more people come like that. Et pourquoi as-tu fait ce travail? Uh, just because I really, when you can do the things you really like to do, like making everything beautiful, it's also designed behind. I wanted to make some nice plants, like for matrimony, a garden perhaps, one never knows. It's just the beauty of the things which I like very much. J'aime les choses jolies, les fleurs. Quand on voit une fleur, ça, ça te dit quelque chose, ça te fait quelque chose, non? C'est pour ça que je ne fais, je crois. Allez, vous Are you ready? Okay. Or 12 years ago, the marble for the Matramandir inner chamber arrived from northern Italy. What you are viewing is the marble coming out of the amphitheater and going up to the inner room. This elaborate delivery system has been designed to minimize the possibilities of any accident. In 1977, one slab of this marble was valued at 3,000 rupees. Index for inflation, today it's worth much more. Uh, here we're standing at the base of the Matramandir with uh, John Harper. John, how many sheets of uh, marble go up on each one? Eight. That's eight sheets of marble travel up each time, huh? Je voudrais vous rappeler pour ceux qui ont vu Célébration d'un rêve. Vous avez dû remarquer la merveilleuse statue qui est au début. Eh bien, on ne peut pas vous présenter le sculpteur, mais on peut vous présenter celui qui a réalisé dans le bronze la sculpture. Quand Uli first came to the ashram in Pondicherry, he met a lady named Maria Bell, who did the sculpture of the mother. After attending a special course in Europe on bronze casting, Uli built this furnace at Dana. He purchases his bronze on the local market, and with the help of this blower, melts them at the temperature of 1,200 degrees centigrade. The bronze begins to melt, the impurities rise to the surface. They are then scraped from the top and placed aside. bronze 
reaches the proper temperature is removed from the furnace and placed in a cradle. With extreme caution, it is poured into plaster of Paris molds. process will take approximately four hours. What you see here are two sculptures of the mother, one semi-finished and one highly polished. What do you see as doing next, Duli? This I can't see now. No, it depends on what is asked for me. The Matramandir nursery, with the help of these ladies, welcomed everyone during Orville's birthday week to the flower show. A lot of beautiful mandalas were all made from flower petals. All over the Matramandir in there. Ah. <laughs> do it again. The one thing that I cannot bring to you are all the beautiful scents that radiate from all these beautiful flowers. All these different shapes and colors are all nature's offering to the divine. Whether they are large, whether they are small. One thing is they're all extremely beautiful. Orchids, orchids, and more orchids, flowering everywhere, splash a with colors and scents and shapes. All of it is extremely beautiful. Here is Ganesh, our favorite deity, made of flower petals. A model of the Matramandir was exhibited so that people could get an overall concept of the garden's ideas. Other flowers were displayed that were not blooming at this time to show what is growing in the nursery. Bonsoir. J'espère que vous avez beaucoup apprécié notre petite présentation et saisi le travail que nous essayons de faire. But Orville in Israel has one small problem, equipment. All the equipment that we have been using has been borrowed. The camera from the school, and it must be returned. The VCRs from different individuals within Oroville. Alan and Patricia are continuously using their equipment for video documentaries. And so we have a problem there. But we remain optimistic. Bonsoir. Bonnes vacances à Yoke et à Karel. Et bonsoir à tous. Bonsoir, Francis. Bonsoir, Yann. Bonsoir.